Welcome to the Nicholas 11x12 technology. Today we're looking at the Deepcool Gamer Storm Maelstrom 240 water cooler. This is Deepcool's first ever 240mm water cooler, which is priced very competitively. I'm really looking forward to see how the CPU cooler performs. Before I move on, I'd like to thank Deepcool for providing me this product and therefore making this review possible. In the box is the water cooler itself, two red rubber covered PWM fans, the mounting brackets for Intel and AMD systems, the fan hub and last but not least the user's manuals for the water cooler and the fan hub. The Deepcool Gamer Store Maelstrom 240 uses copper as the cold plate material. The radiator dimensions are the following, 274 by 120 by 27 mm. Two 120mm fans are included, which are Deepcool's GF120 fans. All the latest as well as the older sockets are supported. Intel LJ1150-1155-1156. LJ1366, LJ2011. AMD AM3 Plus slash AM3, FM2 Plus slash FM2 slash FM1 and AM2 Plus slash AM2. Deepcool backs this water cooler up with a 3 year warranty. In terms of aesthetics, I really love the way the radiator looks like with these unique fans. I don't get to see such that often. Unfortunately, no rubber tubes are used here, however, that often is just a thing for aesthetics. In most cases, there is no performance boost. Now let's take a closer look at the cooler. First of all, it's a 240mm radiator. You can mount up to two 120mm fans onto the rad or up to four if you decide to go for a push-pull configuration. The thickness of this radiator is pretty standard with 27mm. If you ask me, this unit kind of looks very similar to Corsair's first water cooler, the H100, except for the pump. So I think we should also expect very similar cooling performance. Durable plastic tubes are used here, although I would have loved to see rubber here. It's not a big issue. It's nothing performance related. As you can see, a round pump is used. It should have a long lifespan thanks to the Zirconia ceramic bearing. Also on the pump is a nice GamerStorm logo, Deepcool's high-end brand. The logo lights up white and pulsates. The pump is powered by this 3-pin fan cable. Thermal paste is reapplied already by the way. The included fans are very well made and as I've said before already, rubber covered. This makes the fans kind of bendable, which should reduce vibration noise. This is how the assembled water cooler looks like. I have to say it looks pretty good. The cooler also is fairly heavy. There are several ways to actually power up the fans. The original method would be using Deepcool's included fan hub. However, I personally prefer connecting the pump to the CPU fan header on the motherboard and the two fans to the board system fan headers, preferably with a Y cable. The cooler looks really nice in my system. The installation was very simple and fast. And here's the pulsating LED I've been talking about before. But enough talking, let's see how well this water cooler does on my overclocked i7 4770K. Alright, I pretty much was right. As far as I can remember, the Corsair H100 performed very similarly to this Deepcool Maelstrom 240 water cooler. This means it's a great cooler, but of course a little worse than Corsair's H100i and H105. However, there's not much of a difference. I think if you swapped out the fans, you'd get even better results. But why am I suspecting this? Well, it's a fact that these included Deepcool fans are much, much quieter than Corsair's. This somehow has to translate into lower performance. This means the water cooler has more performance to offer. So in terms of performance, I'd say it's as good as Corsair's first ever water cooler, the H100. Maybe even a little better. However, once again, I think if you swapped out the fans, you'd get roughly the same performance as with Corsair's H100i. I'd like to welcome and thank Deepcool for entering the liquid cooling market. In my opinion, we customers need more choices, and more choice is always better. The Deepcool Gamer Store Maelstrom 240 water cooler offers great performance at a good price point. 
I can definitely recommend the Deep Cold Gamer Storm Maelstrom 240 water cooler. Thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe and visit nicholas11x12techx.com to see videos there earlier than on YouTube. Also to support me and to make future videos possible, please disable your ad blocker. This is the best way to help me out. Thank you.